Recep Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey personally ordered that two Turkish banks be allowed to participate in an oil for a gold scheme that violated United States sanctions on Iran, according to testimony on Thursday by a Turkish Iranian gold trader in a federal trial in Manhattan. The gold trader, Reza Zarab, who helped orchestrate the billion dollar scheme, recently pleaded guilty to conspiring to evade the sanctions and has become a witness for American prosecutors. On Thursday, Mr. Zarab testified that in 2012, a senior Turkish official told him that Mr. Erdogan, now Turkey's president, at the time its prime minister and a second official, the treasury minister, had given orders for the banks to start doing this trade. Mr. Zarab's testimony marked the first time Mr. Erdogan has been implicated in the alleged sanctions busting which first surfaced when the Turkish police uncovered the activity in 2013 only to have their investigation quashed by Mr. Erdogan's government. Mr. Erdogan has consistently condemned the American investigation into the scheme, raising the matter repeatedly with American officials, including President Trump in September. On Thursday, before Mr. Zarab, 34, told his story to jurors in Federal District Court in New York, Mr. Erdogan said, We did not breach the sanctions. Whatever the verdict is, we did the right thing, he said at a closed meeting with his deputies, Turkish state media reported. We have never made commitments to the U.S. On our energy ties with Iran. The world is not only about the U.S., he said. We also have trade and energy relations with Iran. Mr. Zarab's testimony about Mr. Erdogan was relatively brief, coming in the first week of the trial of a Turkish banker, Mehmet Hakan Attila, 47, who was also charged in the scheme. Mr. Zarab testified that it was Zafar Kaglian, Turkey's economy minister at the time, who said Mr. Erdogan had directed the two banks, Zirate Bank and Vakif Bank, to participate in the scheme. Mr. Kaglian told me that Mr. Prime Minister had given approval for this work, Mr. Zarab said through an interpreter, referring to the Iranian trade. On Wednesday, Mr. Zarab testified that he had paid tens of millions of dollars in bribes to Mr. Kaglian. He said Mr. Kaglian asked for 50% of the profits generated by the scheme, which prosecutors say was being run through a Turkish state bank, Hauk Bank. On Thursday, Mr. Zarab said he had also paid bribes to the general manager of Hauk Bank, Suleiman Aslan, whom he described as being critical to the arrangement. Mr. Kaglian and Mr. Aslan, who have also been charged in the case, remain at large, prosecutors have said. Mr. Zarab testified that he had never paid a bribe to Mr. Attila, the defendant being tried, who was the deputy general manager of Hauk Bank. In Turkey, reaction to Mr. Zarab's allegations was muted. Mainstream television and news outlets have largely kept to the government line that the trial is a plot against Turkey, and have not reported the potentially most explosive allegation that Mr. Erdogan was involved.